up everybody we're back with another video and in today's video i will be reviewing the patagonia fleece cinchilla this is one of patagonia's more popular fleeces so i do want to review it and some things i will be talking about include the quality the sizing slash fit and then the value slash pricing on it so if you guys do want to see more videos like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe it's been a while since i posted it's been about a month since i posted which isn't too long, but I did want to get some more content now. So that's what I'll be doing with this fleece. Even though it is about to be summertime, I still wanted to get this review out since it is one of Patagonia's more popular pieces. And I do have it in the tan slash brown colorway. So let's get started with the review. All right, really quickly, I wanted to give a quick overview of some of the features that this fleece features, just in case you guys are wondering. I will go over these later on in the video, but this is just gonna be an overview. So starting off with the fleece, it's warm and durable, made with 100% recycled polyester double-sided fleece. So when it comes to Patagonia, Patagonia is really big on recycling and helping the environment. So it's great that they go with the recycled fleece. And moving on, they have the classic snap tee styling. That's pretty much the buttons that you see around the neck area and collar area. And the buttons are pretty durable, which I will talk about later on and you could close them up and it'll keep your neck nice and warm as well left chest pocket that's the only pocket that they have on the fleece there's no kangaroo pouch or anything like that but it does fit a good amount of stuff if you guys are wondering about that wide joint sleeves wide joint sleeves for increased mobility through the shoulders and arms so yeah you could be pretty mobile with this thing you don't feel too restricted because of the sleeves skin friendly cuffs and ham so it won't feel uncomfortable, especially around the cup areas. It doesn't feel too tight or anything like that. And hip length, hip length provides an additional coverage and pairs nicely with a hip belt or harness. Now that we've talked about some of the features of this fleece, let's go more into detail and talk about the quality, the sizing and the value slash price. All right, so starting off with the quality of this fleece, this fleece is very thick and warm. So there's nothing to complain about. It is made out of 100% polyester and I'll get some close-ups of the fleece itself but it is very thick. It almost feels like a blanket which I do like. However, since it is about to be summertime, I probably won't be wearing it as much. But when it is winter time, I'll be wearing it a lot more often. And the thing with this fleece is that it never goes out of style just like a Nubsy from the North Face. The quality of the buttons also feels very good if you guys are wondering about that. The buttons are nice and thick. And then here's the clicking noise. So it's pretty loud, but the buttons themselves are pretty durable and robust. So I do like that. You also get a pocket right here on the chest area, which is the only pocket you do end up getting on this fleece. You don't get the kangaroo pouch or pockets on the side. If you guys were wondering about that, the only pocket you do get is on the chest, which isn't bad. You could definitely fit your wallet in here, your keys, I doubt you could fit your phone in here, so here's an iPhone 7 Plus. And actually it does look like it's going to fit in there. Alright, so it fits, but it probably won't close, but either way, the pocket isn't that big, so don't expect to fit anything too big in here. So yeah, when it comes down to the quality of this fleece, I'd say the quality is very good. One thing to keep in mind is that if you are going to wash it, make sure to wash it on cold settings and then do not dry it in the dryer, just air dry it since that's the best way to minimize shrinking and damage to the fleece. All right, next up, moving on to the sizing slash fit. So I went with a size large. If you guys are wondering about my measurements, I am 5'10", 180 pounds, and I do like the fit of this fleece a lot. It doesn't fit long and it doesn't fit too cropped either. I would say that the fit is just perfect. Uh, when it comes to the length of the sleeves, it's a good length as well. You do have these cuffs, which sit nicely at your wrist. So you could still wear a watch and it won't go over your watch. But overall, I do like the sizing on it. I have no complaints about the sizing. And when it comes to the neck slash collar area, I would say I have an average size neck and it doesn't fit too tight around my neck, which is great since I don't like it when sweaters are choking me. Um, usually I keep it two buttons down, but sometimes I'll do it so it's uh, just one button down. 
I usually never go all the way up since it never really gets that cold and this feels more like a turtleneck. If you guys have any questions about the sizing slash fit, be sure to let me know in the comments, especially if you're unsure about which size to get. If you should go for a medium or a large, you could let me know in the comments down below. I will get some on body shots, well some full body shots of the fleece as well since a lot of people do end up being interested in that. And then last but not least, we are gonna talk about the value slash pricing. So the retail on this fleece is around $100, a little bit over depending on tax and shipping and things like that. However, if you do wanna get one used, you could do that on eBay and they go for around 40 to $60 depending on the price, color, condition, and things of that nature. All right, so I just double checked the Patagonia website and if you are looking for a brand new Cinchilla, those are gonna cost around 120 to 140 depending on the model, size, color. However, I would recommend looking at the Patagonia worn wear section as well if you are looking for the same look at a discounted price. So you can find these on the worn wear Patagonia website from anywhere between 40 to $60. I would say is the range for a Sanchilla. Some of them are the snap tee with the buttons and then there's some other ones that come with the zipper instead. However, they do have a wide selection so I would definitely recommend taking a look at them as well as on eBay if you are looking for a specific color or size. So I managed to get mine on eBay. It looked fairly new. Um, there's no damage to it either. There's no rips or tears. Uh, the fleece still feels soft too, so I know that they took care of it. And yeah, I managed to pick this up for around 45 to $50. There's another one in this same exact colorway in a size medium. So if you guys are looking for this exact same one that I'm wearing, you guys could check eBay and they'll probably have it there. They do come in a whole lot of colors though. They come in a gray and like navy colorway. I've seen red and navy. I've seen tribal prints. So they pretty much have whatever color you're looking for. You just gotta find it. And overall, I would say that the pricing is pretty fair. It's not too overpriced. Since it does sit at $100 retail, you can pick this up and it'll last you a lifetime, similar to a North Face Denali, which is great. So if you are looking for a fleece that'll keep you warm throughout every season, I definitely recommend this fleece. And if you guys have any other questions, something I didn't go over in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. There's honestly not too much to talk about with this fleece. It doesn't come with a lot of pockets. Um, there's no hood. Um, the waist isn't adjustable. So it's pretty much just a pullover. You have four buttons and then a chest pocket and that's pretty much it. What's nice about this fleece too is you could wear it with pretty much everything. Um, jeans, you could wear it with shorts. It goes with everything. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys do have any more questions about something I didn't go over in today's video, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. I try to go over everything, but there's honestly not a whole lot to go over. But on YouTube, I didn't see a whole lot of reviews on this fleece, which was strange since it is one of Patagonia's more popular places. So I did want to get a nice quality review video out for you guys. And other than that, Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below if you aren't already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. I'm out. Peace.